So, this is how we are uh, linked up to Kaltura. So this is the plugin setting on Instructure. This is the Instructure site. And so it gives instructions here um, for what you're supposed to do. And in fact, I need to make sure I have my uh, um, Kaltura account up. So let me just pause a second. OK, so I've also brought up our Kaltura account on Kaltura.com. This is our um, temporary account. And here I go to Settings. And then integration settings, because uh, this has to be um, set. So um, back on the plugins. So it gives us these instructions. And it says that you've got to um, go to Kaltura Management Console and on the integration settings, enable server notifications. And put the URL as this, you know, your Canvas domain, and then this bit at the end. So that's what we've done on here. Structure test, .edu, using objects, uh, everything, that's what they said. Uh, actually, by the way, when we ping this, it never seems to actually work. I've, I've tried putting uh, legitimate websites in here, and it never it never seems to ping them, so I'm not quite sure if there's an issue here or not. So that's something with its relationship with Instructure. So um, back to the settings. So for the domain, when it's hosted accounts, www.kaltura.com, which we put in, and then again, for hosted accounts, use cdn.kaltura.com. Uh, that's what we've done. Then our account settings, our partner ID, our sub-partner ID, the secrets, and then these. Um, now, for the player, I'm, I'm not even sure what that actually does in our system. I'm assuming that's when we finally play back a, a video, but we've never got that far so, so far. Um, but for these UIs, so the contribution wizard UI and then the uploader UI, um, it seems that these both need to be the same number, but the number supplied by um, by Kaltura wasn't correct. It just didn't work. I'll, I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, but this is the number we found that Instructor use within their own system for their hosted version for their version of uh, Kaltura, and and it, it did actually bring up br open the uploader. So let me show how what this actually means in real terms of the Instructor Canvas site. So I click on this is their LMS and this is a discussion post and I'm going to add a new entry and when you've set up the Kaltura plugins page then you get this icon which didn't exist before um, and you click on it now this used to bring up the the, the Kaltura contribution wizard um, but we we asked for changes to that because there it just was too complicated for what we needed we just needed a very simple record or upload and we and we didn't need a lot of the other things on that. So I'm assuming I don't know this for sure, but I'm assuming that Instructor have written this. I, I but I don't know that for sure. I don't know if this is a new um, Kaltura contribution wizard or if this is one that they've written themselves. But at any rate, um, when I what happens is when I record the w from the webcam. Hello, this is me. Um, if I do this, it does connect or at least it does start to, to record. Um, if I do this, it does connect. Oh, you. And then if I click Save, something is just getting stuck at this point, because it tries to for a while, and eventually it's just going to tell me that it couldn't save, or it failed to save. Um, and we don't know what's going quite what's going on with that, because it's because it's the we, we're using the Kaltura.com Account we don't we're not we can't see any of the uh, logs, so we're not quite sure what's happening. Um, I'm just going to pause until that gets to the error message. Oh, it did. Okay, so um, so that's what it says. Saving appears to have failed. Please close this pop-up to try again. But if I go to the upload media, this is the part that if I put in the wrong another number for this, even the one that was supplied by um, Kaltura by Chris, then it just doesn't do anything. You, ca you can't even click on this. But if I put in the 11, the, the 11 500 that we found on Instructure, then at least I can actually click on these buttons. It lets me do it. So it recognizes that. I can choose a video. I'm going to choose this 21 meg video. It takes a little while. This um, we, we would like this to be a bit faster. We're not quite sure why it takes this long 
because if, if we do, if we've tested a little bit with the the, um, uh, the free version of Kaltura, or the sorry, the open source version locally, and then obviously it's just it's just instantaneous, pretty much when it's local. Anyhow, I'm going to pause until it gets to the end. Oh, so it j so it basically got to the end and disappeared. It um, and it's supposed to return a thumbnail um, to to this page. So it didn't. So, so both for the, the, the using the webcam and the uploader, it never actually returns anything back to us. So it seems like it's doing something, and then it just stops. So that's basically where we're at. We don't know what to do next. We think that we think we've got the settings right, but I'm worried about this. I don't know if that's a specific. Um, I, I'm not quite sure how this works. I don't know whether this is some kind of code which will send, uh, which tries to send the video to. Instructor's account. I don't know if that if it's set up that way, where it where it direct directs it there. Um, that may and that may be what the problem is, and, and we're just not sure. We just couldn't get it to work with uh, with the other one. In fact, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to I'm going to put in the um, the UI conf ID that I was given um, by Chris. All right. So here is the email with uh, with the, the conf number that was sent to me. So if I try this number and I put it in the plugins page and I apply it and then I go back to my LMS and I try again straight to the media see now I can't. It doesn't even recognise that this is something I can click on. So I'm I'm really not quite sure what's going on with that, but um, it doesn't work with that with that setting. Whereas it does at least pull up, bring up an uploader. When we use this, but that's making sense. Um, that's what we have to deal with, and we just don't know where to go from here.